well you bought yourself a laser cutter and um, you now are in the process of probably playing around with it setting it up so I just thought I'd do a short video on how to find the focal point of the laser um, this is where as it comes out of the lens where it's at its, uh, its most concentrated point and um, we'll go through the process of that and uh, the easiest way I've found out how to do that Well here we are at the laser machine, um, all I've done here is uh, I've just set up a piece of mirrored acrylic um, which is in here and this is just set at an angle obviously about half an inch at the back going down to zero at the front. So what we're going to do, we're going to press the laser test button and then we're going to bring the laser forward and just put a cut into this mirrored acrylic. Um, the, this is just registered here so when we come to put the mirror back in after we've done our cut um, this is just to register the front of the mirror. I mean, it's a bit Heath Robinson, but um, it does the trick. So what we'll do now is um, we've got all the lasers set up, and we'll just run a cut straight down, and then um, we'll, I'll show you the process after that of how to find out about the um, your focal point on the laser. So that was as simple as that. So we'll just run the laser back we'll just take the mirror out so you may be able to see it here oh, let me just focus oh, you can just see the cut there so what we'll do now is we'll go over to the um, the light and um, I'll show you how you can find out where your most concentrated cut is so here we are we've got the light outside and we've got our mirror here so this is our cut line here which we've now done this is where it started from at this point here and then the cut was this way so if we tilt the mirror in the light, you can just see where it goes. It starts off here out of focus, and then where I'm tilting the mirror, you can see where the line is changing. And then that's where its focal point is about here, and then it goes out of focus again. So if we twist the mirror, you can see where it's at its sharpest point. And that would be here. So there is our sharpest point at where the mirror is most, uh, where the laser is most concentrated. I'm hoping this is coming out right. I'm looking in the back of the camera um, on the on the um, little screen, so I'm hoping that's in the right spot. It does look like. Let me just have a look. Oh yeah, no, it is in the right place. So what we'll do now, we'll go back to the laser, and I'll show you how we set the laser up to find out where the top of your um, your most concentrated laser cut is going to be on the top of your surface. So here we are back at the laser machine um, with our piece of mirror with our start point up here and our um, most concentrated laser point here. So we'll put that back into the machine being careful and then we'll bring it down to the front register point here which is there. Right so what we'll do now we'll just bring the laser head down to that to our mark which we've done with the pen. which is there. So that's our point of um, where the laser is most concentrated, so that's the focal point of where it's going to be on top of the work surface. So I've just grabbed my, um, these are my um, height gauges for the, you know, for my uh, own machine, so this one here is where um, the laser point or the most concentrated point is on the top of the work surface then we've got some adjustments here for different materials so this is the first one so what we'll do is we'll put that in here and as you can see where the black line is is where the tip is so when I when I'm cutting to the top of the work surface like engraving or anything like that I'll use this um, height gauge and that will be from the bottom of the tip of the cutter to our black line. If you're cutting thicker materials you'll need to cut into the piece more so um, on for instance 4.5 millimeter um, perspex or acrylic um, you need to cut in further so like the, the concentrated point of the cut will be probably about a mil under the surface something like that and that's what this height gauge is for. So if we compare the two you'll see here that we've got a difference in height between the two. 
So this has been trial and error to get this right. So I know that this one, um, I can cut 4.5 and it will cut all the way through. And um, you know, with a nice square edge, clean cut, mirror finished edge. Uh, well, you know, a lot of polished edge in there. I hope you enjoyed that short video. Um, just a quick video in that, um, just to show you the basics. I mean, what we've done there was just to set up the laser, um, mainly probably just for acrylic and that. But obviously there's far more materials which you can cut and engrave onto. And um, it is a case of experimentation, especially um, with some of the machines where you don't know, you know, it, it, if it's a machine from China, you aren't going to know what your heights are for cutting and that sort of thing, you know, your optimal heights. If you're going to buy some of the professional machines, then they would have already done all the testing and all that sort of you know, and they'll tell you and they'll have different settings within their software for cutting particular um, items and that and materials. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, my machine is homemade and uh, it's been running for about the last couple of years and uh, I've learned a hell of a lot from it. And um, I've done, also done a hell of a lot of research um, to get all my optimal cuts to give me good finishes and, you know, like square edges and things like that. But if anybody's got any questions, just ask and, you know, I'll, I'll always answer those. Um, well, to the best of my abilities anyway, from what I've learned. Um, but it has, it has been a good learning curve and uh, the machine does now work really well. And I, I know we know what to do on what materials and how I want the finish to be and all that sort of thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe and give me the thumbs up. Cheers.